for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about my beauty favorites. You guys, oh my god. <laughs> I have so much makeup. <laughs> so many makeup products, beauty products that I want to share with you guys that I've been loving for these past few months. Now, I haven't done a beauty favorite video in a hot minute. Like, it's been forever. Um, and it's because, I don't know, I feel like I just... I am the type of person that sticks, like when I like something, I stick to it for a very long time and I'm very scared to get out of my bubble and try new things, which is something que quiero cambiar para el año 2021. I definitely want to venture out, try new products um, and show them to you guys and hopefully fall in love with other products because we all know the beauty industry has millions and millions and billions of different makeup products. Um, so I promise you I will get out of my bubble and try new things. So that's why I feel like it's been taking me a very long time to be able to do a video like this and show you guys my beauty favorites. Uh, but the day has come and I have, you guys should see my little desk here, I'm like, oh god. I'm gonna try my best to really talk, not too fast, um, but at the same time try to not make this video super, super long. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this glam might look familiar. <laughs> I actually already did this makeup look for you guys. Check it out. I just posted it um, and I just switched my shirt. So that way no se ve, you know, that I'm wearing the same shirt, you know, for two videos. <laughs> I'm trying to knock out two videos in one day. I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Um, let, actually, let's, yeah, let's start with this stuff here and then we'll move on to the makeup. So recently, you guys, I've been like really taking care. I mean, I've always had, but I've been like really, you know, brushing my teeth at least three times a day. Um, and so I, we've been loving, me and my husband have been loving this. And I actually got this from TikTok. <laughs> it's the Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. And I have the Inibo... Ugh, in invigorating ice mint <laughs> um, and I love this you guys so much whenever it comes to like rinse you know like any oral rinse I don't like it when it stings you know because some of them can be very very strong and carry like I think it has alcohol in it I don't like how like it just stings my gums and it stings my teeth and I just don't like that feeling and this does not do this for me super comfortable and whenever you rinse like it doesn't like you know like like you don't have to go like that <laughs> when you're done look it says no alcohol no artificial flavors no burning which is huge what i was just telling you guys right now um and it really makes your breath feel nice and like airy like it doesn't stink like i'm just huge on that um and yeah you can buy this at target they do have different other um flavors or whatever but I get icy mint we've tried two of the other ones but we just always keep going back to this one um, so definitely check this out you guys now for skincare you guys I've been trying I have like a lot of different cleansers right now but I've been loving this one from Ole Hendrickson hopefully I'm saying that right um, it's the find your balance oil control cleanser now for a lot of you guys if you know me or been watching my videos for quite some time I do have combo to oily skin um, so this one's great for people who do have oily skin um, and I absolutely love it you guys it doesn't burn it feels very comfortable it feels like I just left a spa um, and you guys this has lasted me quite some time I think you should throw it out in a year and I think my year is almost up to be honest because you only need a little bit and a little bit goes such a long way and, and I just really love their brand. I really want to invest my money more in skincare. For my age right now, I'm starting to look for products that can really change and you know make a difference on my skin. I hope that makes sense um, and I really like this brand a lot. Um, also, I was going to share with you the um, cleanser brush. It's like a cleanser brush. Um, that you have to put like batteries in and it like moves around kind of, kind of like the cl um, Clarisonic, right? I think that's what it's called. Um, but Dose of Colors, you guys, um, I when they released their skincare stuff, I bought this as well with the cleanser. Um, and you get a packet and you get two um, in the packet. And you guys, I love these so much. They are super soft. Like, no se nota that it's really soft, but it really is. And I really enjoy that you can put your fingers here. And you can just like 
rub around your skin. I definitely recommend this for anybody who doesn't have like a Clarisonic or any fancy tool to like exfoliate your skin. I feel like this is definitely a great alternative. Um, super affordable. I think they run for like $17 for the pack of two. Um, and I, they don't rip, which is something that I really like because I've been using, not this one, I have the other one in my bathroom right now that I'm using, but se esponja también un poquito, so it does get a little bit bigger than this. Um, and it just feels so soft. This one's brand new. I haven't used this one at all. It doesn't feel rough. Um, and I really, really enjoy this to remove any dead skin cells off my face. Speaking of exfoliating, you guys know that I'm a huge sucker for self-tanning. I love getting tan, you guys. Oh, I can't wait for summertime. <laughs> I actually stopped, you know, self-tan a little bit because, um, I don't know, I kind of want to like rock my natural color. I'm like so pale. I don't know if it's just me, but whenever you're tan, I feel like you feel better about yourself. I know it sounds so weird and so corny, but for me, whenever I have a tan, I feel like that bad B-I-T-C-H, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel so good. I feel like clothes look better. I use the Love and Tan, as you guys can tell, I've, I've been, I'm almost out of it actually. Um, this is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse Instant Bronze Self Tanner and Moisturizer. Um, I do get the shade dark because I do like to get really dark. Um, but they do have different um, levels, so you don't have to pick this one in particular. I think they have a light one, a medium, I think this is dark, I think, I think they might have ultra dark, I don't know. Um, but you can find this brand at Ulta as well, and they also have a mint to go with it um, to apply the product. I feel like this one does last a lot longer, um, y lo cuido mucho, that's why I haven't gotten rid of this because it's just really good. Um, but yeah. Also with summertime, you want to smell good, you want to smell not sweaty, no quieres volver a chivo, like you really want to smell super good. Um, and I've been loving this perfume, you guys. I've had this also for quite some time. Actually, this is my second bottle that I bought. This is the, you guys, I can't pronounce it, Bon Bon Victor Rolf. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I suck at pronunciations. Um, but I love this perfume, you guys. I feel like it smells really good. It actually lasts on me. Some perfumes do not last. I feel like they go away within like the first one, two hours of my day. Um, and this one just has always lasted and people always ask me like, mm, what are you wearing? Like that smells so good. Um, and it's this, I just, ugh. oh yeah, I love it. I forgot one more thing you guys, whenever I do my skincare, I do wear this. I think it's so adorable. I'm not gonna put it on because I'm gonna miss my makeup and my hair. Um, but I use this to whenever I'm gonna start to do my skincare in the morning or in la noche. I love to put this on and it prevents from the water going into my hair. Um, and make myself look really oily and like just crazy. <laughs> um, I got this, I think I got this at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Um, if you guys have not been to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, I'm gonna be a little confused and really concerned. Um, but I love going to their like hair accessory section, and their skincare stuff. Um, and I just love picking up stuff like this for my hair. I think it's just really, really cute. <laughs> All right, guys, so now that I have that out of the way, those beauty products, I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup. I have like a bunch of makeup that I wanna talk to you guys about. Um, so the first thing is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Line and Define Eye Tapes. You guys have seen this thousands and thousands of times here on my YouTube channel. I love them so much, you guys. Um, you do get 40 strips um, and they run for $3. So this pack, you guys, for 40 strips for $3 is a freaking steal. Um, I think I got this either at Walmart or Target. Um, I will link everything you guys that I do list here in today's video down below for you guys with the links included. Um, but they are super affordable and one of my subscribers actually told me because I was using the entire strip, you can actually cut these in half um, and it saves so much and you get more strips. <laughs> I love that they're sticky enough so like they're not gonna lift when you're trying to do a winged liner um, or a nice clean eyeshadow look. That's one thing that I really, really was really impressed by these because even I'll even put this on when I have like a full face already and it, they won't lift and they won't move. Um, I'm, I'm just like so impressed by this. I wanna talk about lashes. I am a sucker for lashes, you guys. I I don't know. I feel like a lash just completes the entire makeup look. No matter what look you're doing, if you're doing something very soft or very smoky or a cut crease, half cut crease, dramatic look, um, I just feel like a lash definitely completes that makeup look and it just, 
I just know how to explain like once I put a lash on you guys I'm just like oh yes like this is what I need to complete my look <laughs> first lash that I want to show you guys is from Birdie Lashes. I love the lashes that she came out with, but I'll tell you the truth, out of, the, out of both of the lashes, the one that's like my obsession and I love it and I love them so much is the style called Gemini. This lash, you guys, I think it's perfect. It's so pretty. It's still glam, but yet it's still on the natural side. So even if you want to create a smoky eye, you can still apply this lash to have a lash that's not going to hide your entire work. And you can still see the eyeshadow peeking through. It's like the perfect wispy lash. Um, also, if you have something more natural, I feel like I love how this makes the eyes go sideways. Like they slant this way, the lashes do. And it just looks like it gives you a nice pulled back look. Um, so I think she did a really great job with this. And they're only $12. Next, we have another lash from Beauty Creations. And this is in the style Cryptic. I have also used this a lot. <laughs> I'm probably gonna say that throughout the entire video because obviously it's my beauty favorites. Um, but this lash, you guys, I think it's so pretty. It's also on the wispy side, and sorry it's a little dirty because I used it, but very comfortable as well. And I also enjoy that they are foam mink lashes. So are beauty birds, they are foam mink. So what that means is that they're not um, real mink hair, you know, that come off of those mink animals, um, which is, a plus for me um, with my own brand that I want to come out with to you guys I am looking for foam mink lashes as well um, I just don't you know I've seen some videos on YouTube where like you know I don't want to get into it too too much but you know like how they treat the animals and it's just it just breaks my heart you know um, so I really love that brands are now starting to come out with um, more foam mink lashes don't get me wrong the mink lashes are so pretty they're gorgeous they're stunning but then I just always have that video in the back of my mind I'm like oh my god no like, I don't want to do that to those poor animals <laughs> next week the last two pairs you guys that I want to show you are from Morphe and this is in the style called Yas Queen and it's like yo esta but <laughs> this is a super long lash it looks really long on the eye but once you put them on and like you see your eyeshadow, you guys, I don't know what it does to me, but it makes me weak in the knees. Um, and I just love this lash. It's also foam mink or synthetic. I think it's, yeah, it's synthetic fibers, right? Yeah, made with synthetic fiber. So they're not real mink lashes. Um, and I think that they still look really pretty on the eye. They're also very comfortable too. This other style, you guys, I love, which is also synthetic, right? Yes, this one's also synthetic, and it's in the style called Slayish. And this one's more on the natural side, and I also like the way that these look on my eyes. So every time I do something more soft and not too crazy, I slap this on. I feel like it's like the perfect length. It's not too long. It's not in the middle. It's not too small either, <laughs> but I just really like that it makes my eyes still look nice and awake without it being too overpowering. Okay, let's move on to skin now. Um, so I've been loving this primer, you guys, from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's the Luminous Matte Makeup Primer. Um, and I discovered this a while ago, actually, when I went to Ulta. And I saw this because I wanted to do like a drugstore makeup tutorial for you guys. And I haven't tried this, and when I did, I just have been using it nonstop. Um, it is, I think, silicone, but I'm not a fan of silicone. I think it just depends on the brand, because this one, I think, is. But it's definitely more, um, obviously, it's called Luminous Matte. So it's still luminous, yet not too dry. The problem that I used to have with silicone-based primers is that whenever I would apply it, it would start to, like if I would move it too much, it would start to crumble up and get like little balls, like synthetic balls, and I hated that because then once I went in with foundation, my skin looked so dry, particularly in this area. Um, if you guys already, you know, been following me for a while, you know that I do have pores right here because ovio, I do have um, oily skin. So in my T-zone, I definitely have more pores and blackheads. So whenever I would like do that, uh, it was just like a hot mess. <laughs> so it doesn't do that for me and it just glides onto my skin really well and blurs out my pores without, you know, it crumbling it up or anything. And then when I put my foundation, like I was so scared. And then I put on my foundation and I was like, oh, okay. Like this actually looks really, really good. Um, so I just been using it ever since and it's very affordable and I really, really do like it. Okay, so now it's time for foundations. I've been using these two 
quite some time now. Um, one of them I would use when I was super dark during the summertime. Um, and then this other one, you guys, is true to my color right now. Um, and I just love the way that it makes my skin look nice and like matte, soft, not drying. And I just always seem to purchase these um, all over again because it's just really, really good and I just love the way that it makes my skin look. Um, so the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is the NARS. This is the semi-matte, all day luminous, weightless foundation. Um, and I love it because it, it is semi-matte. It's not too dry, but it, yet it's not too luminous where I'm gonna look like super oily, crazy, you know? And I feel like every time that I would set it with powder, like, I don't know. I love the way that my skin photographs with this foundation. Um, and you can also find this at, I went to TJ Maxx or Marshalls a couple weeks ago and I actually saw this there. Um, and I did restock actually. I bought like two other ones and I love it you guys. I feel like it's so good. I don't know if maybe Sephora is not gonna be carrying this anymore or Ulta. This one too is actually the one that I have on my face right now, but it's also the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. This one is the one that I wear right now that I'm not like super tan, um, but this is the one that I would wear uh, when I am tan. I really do love NARS products. Um, when I used to freelance and do makeup on clients, I loved using NARS on clients. Um, the next foundation is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. I don't know if I told you guys about this one before. I think I have, um, but it is bomb. I don't get tired of showing you guys this foundation. Um, it's more on the matte side for sure, um, but I love how this foundation doesn't budge. It doesn't move. It stays in place. And actually, my husband always compliments my face my face makeup whenever I'm wearing this foundation all the time. He's always like, your skin looks nice. Like, what did you do to it today? And I'm like, so you try to say it never looks nice? <laughs> I'm always like that when he's like, you know, he compliments me and I'm like, why? I never look at that. And then he's always like, God, that's why I wanted to compliment you. <laughs> so after you've, you've applied your foundation, obviously what's next, it's concealer. Um, so I love this one so much. Like you guys have no idea. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer and you guys I'm sure have seen this little guy in my YouTube videos as well as like little short IG videos on Instagram. It is heavier, I will be honest. This one is can come off pretty cakey if you do pack it on a lot. So a little bit, I promise you, a little bit goes such a long way with this little guy and it covers up very, very well. And it should last you up to 24 hours, but I don't wear my concealer for that long. I think the most that I wear my makeup for is like eight hours, eight or nine hours, but it's really good if you have dark circles. I feel like you would really like this, this concealer. Um, the next one, if you guys don't like such a heavy concealer but still want that you know decent coverage this is the hourglass um, in the shade sepia this concealer you guys I forgot how good it really is whenever I feel fancy you know <laughs> and I want to look very expansive I pull this concealer out it's definitely more lightweight than the makeup forever um, it is more on the pricey side I will say that but it just looks so so pretty on the days where I don't want to wear too much makeup um, and I want to still look really pretty and like, you know, I don't know, bronzy and glam, <laughs> then I do go in for this one. Now to blend all these products out, I don't know where I have been, you guys. I feel like everybody has talked about this and I would always be like, okay, I'll get it later and I never will and, and, and I never did. Um, it's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. What? And you guys, this, is so good. <laughs> I used to always use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which I still like it, but I don't think I can go back to it just because this is so stinking cute and it's so good. Um, I feel like it blends my concealer really well. It's only $6. You can find them at Target. Um, you can also find them at Walmart, I think. Um, and I, it's so soft that, I don't know, I feel like you can just move it around how you wish. Like you can literally, like look how bouncy this is. Like, it's like so good and I really definitely recommend this to you guys. Now to set your products after you apply your cream products, I love this so much. Who saw it coming? Give this video a thumbs up if you saw this coming. <laughs> I love this powder, you guys, so freaking much. I actually like it better than the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I said it. 
it is so good i love it this is in the shade translucent because i do have two which is translucent and another deeper one for deeper complexions this powder you guys is so smooth i feel like patrick star did such a good job it's really fine milled once you put it on the skin like it doesn't the thing that i like about this you guys is that in the past whenever i would set my face whenever i would dust away the, the powder you will still have powder sitting there and I hated that because then that would cause my foundation to like move and separate because you're like literally going in there to dust off the powder. Um, and with this, you guys, it just goes on so incredibly good. I feel like it blurs out my skin. Obviously, he wears a lot of makeup, so I'm sure he knew what he was, you know, going to come out with. Um, and he knows what he's talking about. But this powder, you guys, it's definitely even better than the one that he did with MAC Cosmetics. Like, this one is just, like, 10 times better. I do go in to, like, foundation stuff to, like, bronzer, as a bronzer. And I've been using this one from CoverGirl. This is the Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. I'll even sometimes go into Maybelline powders and use them as bronzers. Um, this one is the Full Spectrum in the shade um, Medium Tan Neutral. And I use this as a bronzer. I think it's meant for either setting the face or it's meant as foundation powder. Um, but I've been using this for quite some time, for many years actually. Um, I just, I love bronzers, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't found that one bronzer that, I guess the issue that I would always have with bronzers is that it would skip on my skin and it wouldn't come off, it would come off patchy versus like smooth and very like, flawlessly I guess um, and when I switch over and I thought to myself hmm, why don't I use foundation powders but they're meant for foundation but I would get like deeper colors to use as bronzers and you guys I feel like the heavens like the gates of the heavens like opened up and I was really like oh my god <laughs> now it's time for highlight for highlight you guys I've been using the estates do me baked highlight powder in the shade by if you guys haven't tried um, Estate Cosmetics, you guys need to. They're super affordable. They actually remind me a lot of ColourPop. Um, and this one is like my favorite highlighter from them. Like look how creamy this is. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I just think it's really cute. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait on the lipsticks. I kinda wanna show you guys my favorite nude lipsticks. So I'll do that for another video where I really break down the colors and everything. So yeah, let's not do that. Not tried out Mob and Beauty. It is a new makeup line from Fashion Nova. Um, I am a Mob and Beauty partner. No, I'm not getting paid for this video at all. It's not being sponsored, but I really wanna show you guys these. Um, these are called the cream eyeshadows. We have Coquito, we have Teddy, we have um, Cool Cafe. We also have um, Alpaca and then the last shade called Brulee. These eye creams, you guys, are so amazing. I love them. I also did a review on these if you guys want to check out that video. But I like them. They kind of remind me of my Urban Decay Eden Primer, just more affordable. Um, but other than that, I just love a nice base. Like this one, for an example, it's called Cool Cafe, but it's more on the purple side. Um, so whenever I'm doing like a half cut crease um, with like purple, I like to use this as the base and cut it out um, and cut the crease and then, you know, pat it in with some purple eyeshadow. And I just love using these also when I do like a very simple natural cut crease, like very, very simple. And I like to use this to cut it out. Um, and I just like the base color. So these are just so freaking fire. If you guys don't have these, I definitely highly recommend them. Are there waterproof liquid eyeliners? So freaking bomb. I have marijuana, marijuana, I like that name. <laughs> Somewhere back there. Um, but I just brought some out so you guys can see these. Um, marijuana is one of my favorites. and But honestly, all of them can actually be my favorites because they're such good quality. They don't budge, they don't move, they stay in place. They really are waterproof. Um, and I just love the applicator of these. Uh, look how skinny that is. Um, and I do have wrinkly eyelids, so for me, whenever it comes to like using liquid eyeliner, 
like I have to have an applicator that really glides really well without it skipping because then my eyeliner looks like really choppy on top. Um, so I like using a um, eyeliner that just glides on really well without me having to go in there two or three times to fix it. These two mascaras are my go-to right now. This one's from Benefit. It's the Roller Lash. I've been using the Bad Gal Bang, but I'm actually out of it. Um, but this one does remind me of the Bad Gal Bang. And I love the applicator. I love to use this for my uh, lower lashes. I don't know what it is, but every time I go into this one or the Bad Gal Bang, my lower lashes, you guys, look so long. <laughs> Either por si, I don't have long lashes at all. Like I feel like I don't consider myself having long lashes. But I just love the way that it makes them look like super long. Um, this one's from Morphe. This one's brand new. It's their Make It Big Bold um, Black Mascara. I love the packaging. I, I love the color black. It's so fancy, so classy, but I also love the product. If you do apply too much though, your, your lashes can tend to look clumpy. Um, so make sure like, a little bit goes such a long way. I do have this on, on my lower lashes and I do like the way that it makes them look nice and full and long. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about eyeshadow palettes and that's gonna be it for the video. So we're gonna go back into Mauvin Beauty. These eyeshadow palettes, you guys, this one in, this, in the shade called Define. And then this other one, which is called Medium Blend. This one's also such a good palette. Whenever I wanna create something very natural and soft and I wanna go into their cream bases, this is what I do. I'll literally use these four shadows for like my entire eye and then cut the crease with one of their eyeshadow creams. With their cream eyeshadows, I've been loving their shadows, you guys. They're really, really good quality. I'm very impressed and very shocked. Um, this one again is called Define and it is so crazy pigmented so good the quality is amazing they blend very well they're very buttery next you guys is the buxom white russian palette i am obsessed with this palette i haven't been very excited when it comes to buxom cosmetics lately um but when they came out with this collection the white russian collection i was just like oh my god like <laughs> i was very happy with this collection i love this palette just because you do have two blush shades right here um, so for anybody, like this palette, just seriously, I keep saying this, but it reminds me of my sister. She is, doesn't like a lot of makeup anymore on her face. She likes very natural. So this palette is definitely like a go-to palette for her. I did create this eyeshadow look with this palette. So definitely check out that video. Um, so I really, really love the quality, the pigmentation, and these eyeshadows, you can create anything to like very simple look, like if you work in an office but you want a little bit of shimmer, but yet it's not too overpowering and too crazy. Definitely switch it up and smoke it up like I did. All right, so we're down to the last palette that I wanna share with you guys that I'm constantly grabbing all the time using it. It just never gets old. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette by Morphe. This palette, you guys, I swear I can create many, many endless looks with this palette. I have already here on my channel, I think I've done like three videos with using this palette, I think. Um, or maybe, maybe even more, but this palette, you guys, just has everything that I love. I love, as much as I love to create, um, I, you know, I think <laughs> as much as I like to create, um, very simple, natural makeup looks and, or smoky looks like this, I love playing with color. Like, I just love creating half cut creases, bien maquillaje, bien exagerado, like, I just love it. It's like in my blood. <laughs> And when I saw this palette, I was just all over it. I just bought the Oasis palette from Morphe, which um, they're collaborating with Elif Sarai. Um, again, because of all the blues, like I just love playing with color. So now we have one thing actually that I forgot that I was gonna mention to you guys. It's not beauty related, but it is like more like what fashion, I don't know. But it's my Gucci purse, you guys. I, it's my Gucci wallet purse. I wanted to share this with you guys because I did do a recent video that I bought this one in my YSL one that's right there. Um, but I love, love this purse so much. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't find it online. You do have to go into the store. It's by where all the wallets are at. And I've been using this so much. I get so many compliments on this purse because I love it because it's so convenient it's so comfy um no le caben tantas cosas um and i, I don't want to go into too much detail because um i do have a dedicated video where i show you guys what you can fit in these purses 
um, but it just goes with every outfit that you put on. I love the little heart in the back. And I noticed you guys that with the leather, Gucci leather is actually really good. My, it's gonna sound so bad, but my dog Canela actually stepped on this a few times and there's no scratches. Like I, I really like the leather. The YSL one, I don't use it as much, but I do use it like, like on the, like in Los Domingos. Um, I do use that one or when I'm going somewhere fancy or more dressed up and I do pull that baby out. But the leather on that one, it does feel more fragile um, than the Gucci one. Um, if you guys are from Oregon, um, Gucci, we, I think they, I don't know if they already did, but they were planning on opening up a Gucci store at the Pioneer Square Mall here in Portland. So I don't know if it's already open. Um, definitely check it out um, and go to the wallet section. And all right, my honeys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I literally gave you guys like all of my beauty favorites, including like a purse, <laughs> makeup, um, mouthwash, skincare. I literally gave you guys all of the beauty products that I've been loving these past few months. I've been just so obsessed and I've been using these nonstop, constantly, every single day. Um, I promise you that I will get better and I will venture out and try new products because there's a lot of new products that I really want to try um, and I want to get out of my bubble. <laughs> if you guys like this video or want to see more videos of me talking to you guys, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and throw me any video ideas that you guys want me to do here on my channel um, of me talking to you guys, whatever you guys want to see. I'm thinking of doing a beauty room tour. Let me know if that's something you guys uh, you know, would like to watch. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Besitos, los quiero, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!